Hello, this is Sophie Trifle Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can have drop physics in Blender fairly easily by using this add-on called the Physics Dropper add-on. It's not free, it's just about $4. Uh, but it's for Blender 2.93 all the way to Blender 4.0. I'm using 3.4 myself, and it's uh, easy installation as usual. I'll leave a link, a link of it below this video so you can download yourselves and check it out. But once you've downloaded it onto your system, process is still the same. Uh, go to Edit, Preferences, Install, Navigate to where you've installed it. Click on that. Click on Install Add-on. And let me type in Dropper in the space bar. And there it is. Just put a check in the box and just activate it. And it's on the uh, right hand side of the UI of Blender in the toolbar. It doesn't have its own little section, but it's in the tool section of the toolbar, which is right here. So below Active Tool, Options, Workspace is a physics dropper. And it's a pretty straightforward and basic and easy setup. It has two options, which is rigid body and cloth. Now, cloth is going to, depending upon how divided up your mesh is, it's going to take a longer time to activate or simulate. Uh, same thing with some more with rigid bodies, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use a cube as an example. So I'm going to left click on that, click on my move gizmo, left click and drag on the Z axis and drag this up. Press Shift A on my keyboard. In the pop-up menu, click on Play or Plane. I'll uh, press S to scale it up. Now all you have to do is click on the object you want to have uh, drop physics applied to, and just press Drop, and it's that easy. Usually in Blender, let's pause this. You have to uh, use Rigid Body to do this, and you would have to set the object that is going to be dropped as active and the plane which would not be the element or model that would be dropped would be in the passive state and it's kind of somewhat tedious sometimes sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but this add-on works great and then once you are happy with the way it is in terms of how it drops just click on apply and it just stays there usually in blender you would have to bake all of this in order for it to apply, but with this, just press apply. You might think to yourself, well, what's the point of this? Uh, you're just putting the cube on top of a um, plane. But let's do something else here. Let's open up a new scene. I'm going to set this up from the beginning. We're going to delete that. We're going to make a lot of Suzanne's. Let's make about five or six of them. Shift A. Uh, monkey. Left click and drag this up. Press 1 on our keyboard to go into the front view. Left click and drag on our hand gizmo. We're going to pull Suzanne up on the Z axis a little bit higher. And we're just going to keep uh, duplicating Suzanne. Shift A again. And you might not have to make too many of her. <clears throat> Shift A again. Let's just make one more just to, for the sake of saving time. And let's kind of pull them all together. They're, they're kind of like in the same space. And we're going to make a bowl so that uh, Suzanne can drop them to the bowl. So Shift A, Mesh, and we're going to click on UV Sphere. Press 1 on our keyboard, scroll up on our mouse to zoom in. Left click and drag on our hand gizmo to pull this up. Reposition our uh, model here. I'm going to press A to scale this up so that this is going to be our bowl. Sorry about that. This is going to be our bowl. We're going to catch all of the monkeys in the bowl. We're going to press Z. Go to wireframe, tap, go into edit mode. A, deselect everything. Uh, we're going to press B. We're going to do a uh, select a lot of vertices. Left click and drag across the top part. And then press delete on our keyboard, delete vertices, and tab again. And Z to go back into solid view. And now we have our bowl here. Now the thing with Blender when it comes to um, drop physics or having physics applied to models in Blender, this seems to be a lot of issues, like for example, you'll have the meshes going into each other, or they'll go through this bowl. This bowl is not a solid, it's just a thin layer mesh, so to speak. There's no solidify modifier applied to it. So there's a good chance that these monkeys 
if it were in Blender, they would actually kind of pierce through the bottom of the bowl. But let's see if Jot Physics does a better job of applying physics to these monkeys and having them not go through the bowl. So we're going to click, hold down shift, left click, left click, go back to our add-on, scroll down here, just kind of disappeared, and click on drop. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. And let's stop and pause it. And let's uh, go back into, let me see, went to a wireframe mode, but that's fine. But if we uh, press this icon and uh, hide the outlines of the monkeys, if we look at the bottom of the, our sphere or our bowl, we don't see the monkeys piercing through the bottom of the bowl at all, which is great. And the monkeys aren't piercing into each other either, which is also great. So yeah, this and there's no kind of unnecessary space in between uh, the monkey models. It all just looks like it's been randomly dropped into this bowl. So yeah, this add-on really does a great job of dropping objects randomly onto surfaces without having any kind of weird distortion or weird artifacts happening with the models. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip, the physics dropper add-on, which works great. Uh, so yeah, you just download yourselves and try it out, and it works ex exceptionally. And just press apply to apply uh, the uh, physics to the models and your set. And uh, hopefully, uh, those of you who have been watching, hopefully this tutorial or this introduction to this add-on was helpful for those of you who are watching. And once again, I really appreciate you guys, and thank you so much. Remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.